july second the visitation of the blessed virgin mary the angel gabriel in the mystery of the annunciation told the mother of god that her cousin elizabeth had conceived and was then in the sixth month of her pregnancy our lady concealed the wonderful dignity to which she was raised by the incarnation of the son of god in her womb but in her joy and gratitude she would go to congratulate the mother of the baptist mary therefore arose says st luke and with haste went into the hill country into the city of judea and entering into the house of zachary saluted elizabeth in this journey the holy virgin gives us a lesson in humility she has been saluted mother of god and is exalted above all creatures yet far from being elated with the thoughts of her incomprehensible dignity she appears but the more humble and the mother of god pays a visit to the mother of her son's servant the redeemer of the world goes to his forerunner but mary is the instrument and means by which he imparts to it his divine benediction to show us that she is a channel through which he delights to communicate to us his graces and to encourage us to ask them of him through her intercession at the voice of the mother of god but by the power and grace of her divine son elizabeth was filled with the holy ghost and the infant in her womb was sanctified and he leapt and exulted within his mother what wonder the little baptist must have felt in the womb of his mother as our lord presented himself john the baptist was cleansed from original sin and filled with sanctifying grace was made a prophet and worshipped the messiah before yet he was born elizabeth likewise was filled with the holy ghost and by his infused light she understood the great mystery of the incarnation which god had wrought in mary and called her blessed above all other women and the fruit of her womb she called blessed infantly more he being the source of all graces by whom mary herself was blessed and of herself elizabeth cried out whence is this to me that the mother of my lord should come to me she had conceived barren and by a miracle but mary a virgin and by the holy ghost she conceived one greater than the prophets but mary the eternal son of god himself true god elizabeth styles mary mother of her lord that is mother of god and she foretells that all things would befall her and her son which had been spoken by the prophets mary hearing her own praise answered in that wonderful song we call the magnificat the most perfect thanksgiving and praise for the incarnation of the son of god and the most precious monument of mary's humility she praises god with all the powers of her soul and gives glory to him alone this feast was first observed by the friars minor in the thirteenth century and was extended to the whole western church in the year thirteen eighty nine